seconds. Well, almost another gaff behind the net there by Hodge. A couple of those here yeah. in the early going. Cam Brown trying to take advantage there for the Eagles. You know what, what that says to me right now is limit the handling of the puck right now. If you're if you're not jiving with your D, if you're the goaltender. Really keep it simple. Don't hold on to the puck in your stick. Limo's got that started. Pass out of front. Score! Josh Wilkins on the power play gives the Friars a one nothing lead. Wall's not happy. I think he's saying the net was off. It's more arguing that shouldn't count. But how about the way that finally Providence College hits the net? They get a puck through in the seventh goal of the season for Josh Wilkins. And the big PC Fryer crowd here celebrates. Play comes down the ice, pushed by Lemos. Nice little sauce, little flip pass over. And as it's corralled by Duhame, it's moved over to the front of the net. Wilkins comes in. Speed the key right now. Look at this clean through the neutral zone. Forces BC to move back and allows the play to keep flowing even though they don't go tape to tape. Nobody takes the stick of Wilkins. He gets in between two Boston College defenders there and sizzles it. 15 days of activities. Public skating opportunities for people in Boston. There'll be a figure skating event next Saturday. Another Hockey East doubleheader will be here and a star right off the draw for Boston College as they will tie this game up at one apiece. Michael Kim got it and he wasted no time finding the back of the net. Clean draw back to Kim, a player I talked about in the first period, according to Mike Ayers, has been so valuable to this team and Kim's going to get it. Third goal of the season. The guy steps right into it there. Gets a bit off the front foot, gets the stick down, opens up. That's a good shot because you're going against the grain. You're going, your body's going to your right. Puck needs to come back to the left. He's strong and he's quick. It's really the quickness of the release that probably catches. 30, 35 seconds, beg your pardon. I think I've reached the point where my mouth is frozen now. 35 <laughs> seconds remaining on the power play as they send it around behind the net. Good move by J.D. Dudek to come free. Score! Dudek kept it alive. Puck came out in front. And Boston College will take a lead with three minutes and 11 seconds remaining. David Cotton gets his seventh of the year. Cotton has had a very involved game. He has at least, by my count, seven shots on goal. This, folks, is a, he is absolutely a, a sizzler up high past hockey. Puck is put down low. Cotton is going to move it low. And now Dudek right here. Check up. Spins away from DeArnay. Quick one-timer of a wrist shot. Excellent shot there by the big winger, Cotton. I love this play by Dudek, though. First of all, he corrals the puck with one hand on his stick. Then he's got the presence of mind to, to spin away from the pressure. That was blocked. Shot loose in the slot. Now the goalie comes out. Extra skater on for Providence. A minute 20 to go. Extra skater. With an empty net behind them as the Friars press for the equalizer, but the puck comes away and it'll be reeled in by Cangelosi, who scores! The empty net insurance icing on the cake as Austin Cangelosi will give the Eagles their first two goal lead of the night. Tom, this is why I, I always wonder this, and it, I'm sure there's statistics that maybe they prove me wrong, I'm not sure. If you have the extra attacker out there already, you have a chance to better chance of winning this battle before you lose it. So it's five on five right here. Hockey is sprinting off the ice, but now it's you, you don't have that six guy in the zone. Finally, they get involved. You lose this battle, and that's it. The six guy was too late to the party as far as I'm concerned. And then Providence College on the heels. There goes Austin Cangelosi, who has really had an impact in this game with his face-offs. He has done a really good job.